Jackson here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're brand new, thank you so much for stopping by. I do hope that you decide to stay. I'm Jazz Jackson. I think I said that already, but <laughs> I'm very forgetful. Um, but welcome back to my channel, everybody. So today we are going to do a little sit down, chit chat um, tutorial. I will be showing you guys how I achieve a curly bob. Um, as you guys can see, I have been wearing this bob with a bang very religiously lately, especially if you follow me on social media. Then you guys know for sure that I have been wearing this style tried and true. Love it to death. But you know, usually what happens is when you wear styles for a long period of time, especially for those of you who are like me, you wear installations, you wear weaves, uh, if you get them sewn in, especially when it's a specific type of style such as this, meaning I have a bang and it's like a blunt cut, that style can become very boring. And you know, if you're in between installations, it can be a little irritating that you don't feel like you can do more with the style. So I'm going to take this style which I have been wearing for about two weeks now and I'm just gonna spruce it up a bit you know spring is here so I want to really wake this up but still being able to maintain you know my style now keep in mind this is a wig so I can take it off but we're just gonna pretend like it's a sew-in okay just you know it's a sew-in I'm a little bored with it we're gonna spruce it up <laughs> all right so you don't need a whole lot of um, items to get this style this particular style I want something kind of wavy kind of fun you know just cute spring like style um, and so what I'll be using is just a couple of things three things to be exact um, but the first thing that, I, that I'll be using which is the most important is my flat iron now this flat iron is from PYT pretty young thing um, and this is their titanium uh, no frizz titanium um, uh, flat iron <laughs> sorry no frizz titanium flat iron in the color black um, so there's a couple of cool features on this flat iron I know I get a bunch of questions from you guys asking me about my flat irons I have quite a bit but this one from PYT has a has several pretty cool features on it the first thing that I love the most about this one is that it has this really cool swivel action if you ever curl or style your hair any kind of way using a flat iron you know that it can kind of get a little irritating or frustrating when the when the the cord keeps coiling over and also that can cause shortage in the in the flat iron making it not as useful as it was before also, this uh, flat iron is made with titanium, so um, the the parts of a titanium flat iron is really just the even distribution of heat. So you're going to get one even distribution of heat. There's not going to be hot spots, and so that's going to make your hair very nice and silky, flowy, or whatever look that you're going for. Um, so that is just a couple of things that I really like about it. And obviously, it gets really, really hot. So while I don't need it up this high, um, I have mines at 450 degrees. But I believe you can go all the way down to into the 200s if you're kind of like using your natural hair. Also, the like the buttons to get the uh, flat iron started is on the inside, which I think is a cool little you know additive um, with this. So I'll be using that. I'm also going to just be using a duckbill clip just to get things out of the way. Um, a comb, nothing major, just something that I can just kind of run my run my um, hair through or I can <laughs> run through my hair uh, just to comb out any kinks and then if you want to you can use a uh, styling mist or a finishing spray afterwards it's totally up to you alright so the first thing that I'm gonna do um let's see I know I wanted to have a nice amount of body so, all right, the first thing that I'm going to do is just add a little bit of serum. And this serum is also from PYT as well. It's a super serum. Um, so with your units or with your hair, period, I do not recommend using a lot of serum. Serum is very heavy, and it can be pretty counterproductive if you use too much. So what you want to do, you just want to do like a little dime size. I say dime size loosely. Maybe keep it in the dime size family because, honestly, you don't want to use a whole lot. While serum, it, it works very well. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's very, very small. Serum works very well in terms of making your hair nice and shiny. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> Jeez Louise, what is that? That's amazing. 
Um, so I'm just running my, you know, my fingers through it. And honestly, what I like to do as well is put a little bit of the serum. Like I'll take it and I'm just gonna do a little bit more. But you can even take it and run it through your fingers, right? Like, like this, and then run it through your hair. A little dab of do ya, I promise, because what ends up happening is if you use too much, then you're gonna make your hair oily, and that is no good. No one wants stringy, oily, nasty hair. So just a little bit will go a long way for you, and everything seems to be nice and coated, and we can now move on. All right, so I'm gonna start um, by just sectioning my hair off and this is one of those really cute kind of lazy hairstyles when you don't feel like doing you know you don't want to take a whole lot of time on your hair but you still want your hair to appear done you know what I mean this is very very simple um, you know it's very repetitive with anything that you do with a curling wand or curling uh, flat iron or whatever you whatever you, uh, tool you use it's very repetitive um, so for me I wanted to be kind of chopped being um, a little undone so to speak so I'm not going to worry about perfecting the style um, if you get my drift but so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave like this section below straight and I'll ad address that a little bit later but I'm going to take my flat iron which is still at 450 degrees I do have to let you guys know that again you don't have to have it as high I'm just gonna run this right through and I'm going to twist it. Nothing too major though. Just just like that. Something very simple. And we're going to obviously style it a little bit later. And for me, I don't really care to, to pin it because I kind of want it to fall so that it can have that very uh, tousled appearance. Same thing. I'm gonna run this through. And I'm even dropping off on the ends just to kind of keep the ends a little straight. You know, kind of like that beach wave look. So again, this is very repetitive. Just gonna keep doing the same old thing. Only this time I'm going to section off a little bit more because now with this unit, um, it gets longer in the front because it is a A-line bob. So I'm going to be dealing with more hair as I start to move upward or forward, however you look at that. This is one of the easiest hairstyles that I, I personally like to do when I'm in like in a hurry. Nothing too major. And I'm just pulling down on the ends just to kind of make sure that those kind of stay straight. Um, look very undone, so to speak. You know where I got this style from? I, honest to God, I mean, I can't help it. You guys know, I, I watch, well, I'm, I'm on Snapchat a lot. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you can follow me on Snapchat as at known as Jackson. But um, I, I, I did get the style inspired by um, Black China. Like she was wearing a style like this a, um, a couple of weeks ago where she had a, a bang and the style was kind of short. And I was like, oh man, that'd be really cute to kind of, uh, you know, spruce up my wig a bit and give it some life, girl. Because we get bored, you know what I'm saying? We get bored. We can't help it. As you guys can see, I did that that coil, but then I stopped to allow the end of the um, the end of the curl to be straight. Very simple. I know it feels funny. You want to like complete it and make sure that you know it's a complete curl. But for this look, we want something really kind of textured and messy, even. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go ahead and and finish through this and if you feel like you haven't perfected it I always tell you guys the one thing that you can do you know is, is practice and just make sure that you 
you perfect this look once you get it I mean you pretty much got it the one thing the one thing that you want to keep in mind sorry I keep reaching for my flat iron but the one thing that you want to keep in mind is that when you get to the end you kind of want to taper off and keep it straight boom I should keep it right here huh probably I like using uh, different sizes as well in terms of the amount of hair that you grab in the um, in the flat iron because uh, this will further add to that kind of choppy tousled style. I'm going to show you another thing you can do as well. This will kind of add body. But you remember, um, if you watched my videos a few videos ago, I showed you how I got my really kind of Hollywood curls. And what I did was I went um, counterclockwise and, and clockwise. And that, uh, that added to the body of my style. And so that's what I'm going to do here as well. So now that um, I have a few of them going the opposite direction, I'm going to turn it this direction. to add body to it and kind of wake it up a bit because when things are going the same way when you're facing when everything is facing the same way once it falls it's going to be very flat and you you don't want that look how quick this is right it's so quick and easy like the best thing I could, I'm like the best thing, the you know recommendations that I can give you to make sure that this works is to really just not think about it. Just kind of like, just go for it, you know? Go for what you know. What type of styles are you guys going to try this spring? Um, you know, I think this this season for me, I'm going to try a lot more color. Um, I had a lot of fun when I did that blonde. I had a lot of fun when I did that. And I was like, I'm, I want that feeling back. Um, one, I got, a, I got a bunch. You know, I got a lot of comments. A lot of comments and a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of compliments about my blonde hair and it made me really want to try more color you know like I was like I want to try more color and do more things so I don't know I, I know that I did last year I did red I did obviously I did blonde I did several different hues of blondes um, and so I was like I kind of want to play around in the orange family next like a you know kind of like a reddish orange or something like that really cute I think would be dope for I think would be dope for um, the springtime so I figured I was gonna play around with that you know I keep you guys posted on what I eventually end up doing that one didn't come out right <laughs> Uh, we're going to come back to that one. <laughs> that one has a mind of its own. Let's see. Let me try to, oh, let me try to straighten it a bit. If you guys are interested in PYT, I'm sure you guys have seen them around. Um... I know I've seen them like on Instagram and stuff like that, but they have like an entire um, 
selection of hair care products so it goes a lot further than just um, like their serum they have a lot of stuff um, like shampoo and conditioners they have um, deep conditioning masks just a full array of um, hair care products to choose from and while you can use it on extensions it wouldn't be a problem if you did um, it is kind of tailored to natural hair I don't know. All right, we're gonna come back to that one. Let's just act like that one doesn't exist, you know? It might work out in the end for us. We shall see. I'm gonna go ahead and comb out the root a little bit because with whatever little humidity we've been having here in Chicago, the weather is finally starting to break. So now, you know, we're dealing with just, just a little bit, nothing major. It's gonna bother me. This gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me, girl. Come on. Come on, act right. All right, cool. That's much better. I could, we could live with that one, right? We could live with that. Ma'am, seriously, guys, this style is like so quick, so quick. I'm already done with the with the um, right side of my head. Two more, and I'm done. And obviously when you get to your very last one, the one that kind of like frames the face, you definitely want to um, curl it away from the face. Okay, so we'll come back and style this a little bit more, but we're going to move on. I'm just going to do the other side really quickly, and then I'm going to come back to you guys, and we're going to work on the fringe area. All right, so the hairstyle itself is pretty much done. Now we're just going to go back in a little later once the curls cool off on each side and do a little bit of texturizing. So I'm going to move on to my bang. Now, for all purposes, this bang is pretty much done but I need to show you guys how to get like a sort of like a flat bang because I know a lot of you guys um, have issues with getting a <laughs> the right type of bang to lay correctly on the face sometimes you might curve in a little bit too much you have that old church bang that your grandma used to do and, you know and it's, it's like that but you want to make sure that you um you want to make sure that you pull back a little bit on how much pressure you're applying to the uh, to the bang. So I'm just gonna make small sections because this is the best way to get the perfect fringe area. So I'm gonna uh, section off some hair and I'm gonna move it out the way. Very very simple and I'm gonna just comb out any little kinks. I don't know. There's no kinks in your bang, but you know it's a kind of a habit for me to do that so now I'm going to start at the root and I'm going to apply heat there because I want the root section to really lay down it's going to ensure that it lays nice and flat so that right there and then I'm going to just ever so lightly curve very very soft very soft not that soft. <laughs> I did it and I, and I didn't do it. So let's see. Um, I did it towards the end. So I'm going to try this one more again. Stop making me look bad. Here we go. I feel it now. Boom. All right. That's going to be fine though. I'm going to show you guys a little trick you can do. Because this is, you know, this is embarrassing. But the rest of it is fine. 
So just gonna lightly, ever so lightly, like comb it down so that it can lay nicely. Now what's gonna happen is, you know, like I'm having this little area right here that wants to stick up. Once I apply more hair, it's going to weigh that area down. So we're all good there. Again, section it off and try to pick up hair that hasn't been cur uh, curled yet or touched by the heat because uh, you don't want to over, over compensate with the heat on your hair because then you're going to scorch it. Cool. I'm just going to comb that down and just while it's hot, I'm going to form it. Meaning I'm gonna like, you know, just kind of lay it against my skin a little bit so that it can lay correctly. Boom. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. I have really been loving this hairstyle though, I can't lie. It's so simple and easy, like just this whole bob thing. I'm like, I need to do bobs like more often. Cause they're so simple. They're simple, but yet they kind of like attract attention cause of the cut. So I really like, I've been really, really liking it lately. And I've been liking the bang. It's been a nice change for me. So um, yeah, I welcomed it with open arms. You know what I'm saying? Same thing on the other side, nothing different. Always want to mimic what you did to one side. You want to do it to the other. Side is acting a little bit more nice. Or maybe it's because I'm left-handed. That could be it too. Like, you know, left-handed working better on the left-hand side, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know what I was just singing. Um, well, I was singing Ray Schmerner. Is that how you say their name? Schmerner. Ray Schmerner. I was singing. I ain't got no type. You know, I ain't got no type, but I do got a type though. So those are all lies. The lies you tell. Who said that? Tamar Braxton? But you guys know what has been such a cluster, cluster duck for me. I'm not gonna say the actual word. The fact that there's this song out right now by this dude named Designer and it's called Panda, but it sounds like Future. Y'all know the song I'm talking about? I talked about it on my, well, I, yeah, I kind of talked about it a little bit on my Snapchat. Yo, like, it makes no sense how much they sound alike. Like, it's kind of creepy. Like, they sound just alike. I had to go back and list, like, after I found out that it wasn't Future, Future Hendrix, after I found that it was a future, I had to go back and listen to it a couple more times. And then once I did that, I could tell, you know, like very subtle differences. But for the most part, they're twinsies. There's like this meme going around with um, on Instagram with future and they're like, um, <laughs> they're like, uh, Asking if Future is gonna perform Panda. <laughs> I'm sure like people really do ask for him to perform Panda because he looks just, I mean not look, but you know, they sound just alike. Which would probably suck for the, the guy that actually has the record because people think that it's Future. Whatever, I digress. All right, so now it's just time to style and kind of like, I don't know, tweak this a little bit, perfect it a bit. And the one thing that I'm going to do for sure is kind of add a little bit more body up here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of teasing. Nothing too much, just a little bit, just to kind of 
pick it up a bit. There you go. There we go. See? Nothing too much. Very subtle differences make a big difference. So definitely want to take advantage of that. We'll do the same thing on the other side. The crazy thing about nothing's crazy about it, but you know it's always hard to do one thing to one side and then mimic the other. It can be a little difficult. I need to lift this bang up just a little bit. That's the good thing about wearing a wig. Like, you can adjust it. It's a little too low for me. There we go. There we go, girl. That was going, that was going to ball for me. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot lately. Ball. I feel like I'm forever perfecting this bang. It's never like, it's never, it's never 100 with me. It never keeps it 100 with me. It keeps it like 99. even like just kind of go in there and pick that up that's so cute and flirty I love that mm -hmm. this is what happens when you when you when you do too much you know what I'm saying like just stop touching it just stop it up for me I hope that you have enjoyed this video my little black China inspired hairstyle I think it's really cute and perfect for the springtime this is perfect for those of you that's wearing a shorter style sort of sort of like this you can wear it longer but you get more of a feel for the uh, kind of like tapered off effect if your hair is shorter so just keep that in mind also if you guys are interested in any of the PYT products that I featured in this video I'm going to place a link down in the description bar below and and all of you will be able to receive 70% off your entire order. So if you guys are interested, the flat iron and the products are amazing. So I definitely recommend you go and at least check them out. And plus the 70% off, man, you cannot beat that. All right, guys, thank you so much, PYT, for sending me over these amazing items. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much for stopping by. I will check you out in my next video. Happy spring. Until then, peace out.